This is Google Docs 101, and we're going to be learning about all of the basic functions of Google Docs so you are ready to do your very best work on your Chromebook or computer. So just like before, I want you to notice where your cursor is on your computer. If you click on your paper, you'll see a flashing black line, and that is where your typing will appear. It always shows you where you are. If you'd like a basic review of typing so that you know how to do things like capitals, spaces, and periods when you're working with Word or Google Docs, be sure to check out my Typing 101 video that's linked here. We're going to be reviewing different things like changing and editing fonts and a few basic formatting items in Google Docs today. Let's talk about fonts first. Your font is the way that your letters look. I'm using the font that is default, so just as it was set up when I started in Google Drive. I can change the font at the top of my screen. Right now, it's set to Arial, but I have tons of different choices to choose from. I can change the font here and then start typing where my cursor is, and it will be in my new font. I can also highlight words that I've already typed and then change the font and it will change the font of everything that I've already typed. Make sure that if you're changing the font, it's okay with your teacher and make sure that you are changing your font to something that is easy to read. Many teachers like for you to use a certain font when you're typing. So for today's directions, I'm going to type in the font Times New Roman, which is a very popular for school fonts here. There we go. The next thing that you might need to change in your font is the size of the font. I'm going to click with my mouse and pull to highlight my letters, and then I can change the number, which is my font size. I can click the numbers there. I can also choose the plus and minus buttons to go up or down one size. Another way that I can change my font is to modify my font. I can highlight the word that I need and make it bold. You can also use Command B on your keyboard or Control B to do the shortcut. I can make my letters italic, which slants them to the side, and I can underline my words. This is useful if you're typing certain things or if you're doing nonfiction writing and you need to make sure that a word is highlighted as important. Another feature that you can do with your font is change the color. So I can highlight my word. And then up where you see the letter A, you can change your text color. Again, before you're changing colors and fonts, make sure that it's okay with your teacher and it's following the direction so that your writing stays nice and readable. Another thing that you may need to do when you're formatting your text is change the alignment. So I'm going to click and pull my mouse across all my words to highlight them again. And I would like my text to be centered on my page. So I'm going to go up here where I see these lines and I'm going to click it and I can see different alignment options. If I click the middle one, it'll center them on my page. I can shift my alignment to the right and then back to the left. So this makes sure that everything is lined up and stays nice and neat on my paper. I'm gonna keep my alignment to the left because this is how I would normally write on my paper, just like I'm reading a book starting at the left and going all the way to the right side of my paper. The last thing that you may need to know how to do is how to indent when you're writing on a computer, just like how you indent when you're writing a paragraph on paper. So I'm going to start a new line. I did that by hitting the enter key or the return key on my computer. Each time I hit it, it starts a new line and I'm ready to start typing. To indent my paragraph, I can click the tab button on my keyboard once. And when I click my tab key, it moves the line over just a little bit and then I can start typing to begin with, comma, and I can begin my paragraph. When I get to the next line, it'll automatically be further over for me so that I can continue writing my paragraph like normal. You can pause the video right here if you'd like to keep the keyboard up while you're typing and remember where those important keys are that you need and happy typing.